right so hi everyone i am kashish and i am the student community head at my base and i will be your host for today's session so firstly thank you so much for joining in this master class on the day 2 wherein we will be understanding about uh, the personal brand uh, with our industry expert mr samarth mehta right and i hope you all find this session informative and you learn something by the end of it so to start with i would like to tell you all about my ways so it is an ai and career growth platform for the students we aim to help them in being employable in their desired role and for this we also had a hiring test yesterday if you joined yesterday as well we provide them with internship opportunities courses and training sessions and we also help them in tracking their growth just like that every week we have just right i'm i'm sorry there was some network glitch so just like that we uh, conduct weekly master classes for our student community that is happening today and uh, today we have mr samarth mehta with us he is an i am graduate who is currently handling strategies and operations at liminal and he is highly accomplished professional with over 10 years of experience in the field of strategy marketing and data science he has worked with leading firms such as red sea an academy itc united nations and excess bank and he is also an experienced content creator we will be uh, listing his profile in the chat section you all can have a look on that as well and for today we are here with for uh, the topic personal brand building workshop by mindis so today he'll be telling you that how to prepare and portray yourself for tech interviews and how to build an effective personal brand and one of the most requested topics that how to secure secure jobs internships through linkedin right i hope all of you are excited and at the end of this master class we have an exclusive bonus for all the attendees we are going to release our career insight reports for free with all of you we'll be sharing a code with you wherein you can get free access of the career insight report which is right now for rupees 499 but exclusively for you guys it will be completely free so yeah without any further ado i guess we can start with the session over to you sir thank you thank you so much kashish for that um uh just to start guys my name is amit mehta i kashish already gave me gave an introduction about me i completed my mba from i am kodi code and currently i work uh, in the founders office of a web3 startup and uh, beyond that i have my own podcast and i create content on linkedin right uh before moving forward guys i would want to understand from you all why are you here like what is the reason why you guys are here for today's session guys you can use the chat you can use you can unmute yourself whatever works for you but why are you guys here for today's session hi rohit what is like currently you are pursuing okay but why Are you guys for have come for the session today? What is the reason why you guys have come for today's session? Anyone? To get deep insights about the process and steps involved in building a personal brand on LinkedIn, learn to build own brand. shortlist a cv i don't really know what shortlist a cv means um can you can you please care to explain that insights on how to get an internship okay anything else anything else anything else okay so today we are going to effectively cover three things right um so i don't know how many of you attended the webinar yesterday but the webinar yesterday was all about uh, excuse me the webinar yesterday was all about building a tech focused resume and it was all 
just me talking me sharing my screen that's it today there is no ppt nothing it's plain only going to be from the platform and uh, i'll be sharing my screen with various resources that are available for your disposal so today there are going to be three things that we'll be covering one is how to prepare and portray yourself for tech interviews how to build an effective personal brand and how to get uh, roles jobs you know from uh, linkedin right so first of all let's answer the first question because the next two are very similar right when you are preparing for tech interviews or when you are preparing for a technical job right when you are going out and preparing for a technical job there are three four rounds that are there in the process right there is one hr round that will happen for sure there is a uh, one technical quiz or a technical test that will happen for sure and beyond that there are one or two other technical rounds that will happen so technical quiz or technical test technical round one technical round two and then the final hr round right now for the technical test that is there for that you guys need to brush up on your coding basics right uh the way i talk about coding basics is they will ask you basic questions with regards to syntax with regards to algorithms with regards to questions related to general arithmetic general log logical reasoning puzzles puzzles etc 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 right so essentially how this stacks up is it's more of a logical reasoning test that happens and there are a lot of resources available online for you to look at that right so if i just share my screen shared my screen one sec i close this i just do logical reasoning tests you will see that there are a lot of a lot of these websites that give you a free logical reasoning tests right now another very peculiar thing that happens with regards to these tests is that all of these companies right whatever technical roles that they are hiring for majority of their model test papers are available online like not just uh, online on the web but there are a lot of these telegram groups through which you can get these model test question papers now this is only from the pov or only from the point of view of you writing those tests you answering those tests right because that is level 1 so if i if i just deloit technical analyst test questions if i search that you will see so again you will see a lot of these websites which are already showing you these questions showing you these answers right so there is this website called glass glassdoor.com which gives you a lot of insights about particular roles what are the things that are asked over there right so over here people will completely so say say this person right in their technical analyst interview i was asked to do a selection sort and write the complete code for it for the first round i was asked about the health insurance in india right so glassdoor is a website through which you can get a lot of insights a lot of analysis on what are the various particular questions that are being asked for a particular role right you will see that so over here again let's just take another example technology analyst interview i am an android developer so they ask me questions and concepts about core java api and servlets i would recommend to have an overview of theoretical concepts along with practical knowledge to crack deloitte interview right so over here you will see again let's say few more questions c++ he asked me about polymorphism and oops concept python he asked if you know scripting web projects he asked me questions related to rdb rdbms inner join outer join etc so all these are very technical very basic core technical things that we study as computer science students as uh, technology students in in our undergrad right so what i'm essentially trying to say over here is that a for these tests it makes a lot of sense to go through um these model test uh, model question paper model test papers that are there and more importantly 
look at glassdoor right like there is this another site called geeks for geeks right so over here you will see the entire questionnaire that is there right like all the different steps and i'll just link it over here just one second this is another resource that you can use to prepare yourself for these questions but more importantly what i would highly highly recommend is that for technical interviews for these technical questionnaires that are that are there you need to be very very well rehearsed in terms of your uh, basics right if your basics are not right if you are not very clear on your basics it will not it will not happen it will not come through so ideally it is of importance that you are very clear with your basics you are very clear with your uh, reasoning logical reasoning and the basics that have been taught in college right now this is only for the test once you move forward once you move on to subsequent rounds in that interview questions will start coming now interview questions will again be around the courses that you have studied around the internships or projects that you might have done or around any research papers that if you if you would have published right so for that you need to be extremely thorough with all your coursework with all your projects so say if you've uh, if you've written um a project that you have built an application through which you assist people in filing taxes right and and say you have used two three different technologies to build that application right so then you will be asked questions that what technology was used what are the algorithms was that were used what was the um you know server side coding that was used i'm just giving you examples right the reason why i give you these examples is that when you are saying that i did this project end to end they expect you that you will know everything about this project end to end right so all the different technologies that were used all different algorithms that were used every minute detail that that possibly could be asked you will be asked right but again the intensity of all of this depends at what uh, position are you applying for for junior positions it is not that much for senior positions it is much more detailed so it all depends on what position are you applying for right but ideally having said that to to safeguard yourself for interviews please 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 make it a point to study these questions extremely well study your coursework extremely well and more importantly be very thorough with all the projects or you know any internships or life projects that you might have done right um over here i would like to take a pause and ask if you guys have any questions any doubts whatsoever before moving to the next part guys any questions any doubts on how to prepare for such interviews guys any doubts any questions any queries okay okay so uh, ananya where to start with preparations i think ananya the best way to start with preparations is brushing up your courses that you already have in college right um what i mean by brushing up your courses that you already have in college is that whatever subjects that you have been taught in college across various semesters the best way to start with is you know getting more and more analysis or more and more in in depth in in depth insights into it right um uh, again an an your question how important dsa is uh, that depends on what role are you applying for does that role really require dsa but general rule of thumb is that if say in four years of college if you've ended up studying 40 odd subjects i would i would um, you know recommend you that you at least have thorough analysis and understanding of at least five of them because if that is not happening then that's a problem right so having in depth analysis of five subjects is very important for uh, cracking interviews and again dsa non dsa uh, brute force algorithms which is important which is not also depends a lot on the type of uh, you know role that you are applying for 
Shomadeep, how to practice aptly? Shomadeep, there are a lot of these online tests that are available that you can, uh, you know, sign up for that provide aptitude test. I think even uh, MyWays also has a lot of these tests that they have that help uh, students be ready for interview and placements process. So I think Kashish should be able to help with that. So MyWays also has a lot of these readiness tests that you can basically use to, uh, you know, upskill and upgrade yourself for the interviews to come. Um, does that make sense, guys? Yes, sir. Cool. Uh, guys, any doubts before we move on? Okay. So now I think I have just picked up a random student's profile. Uh, and I'll tell you how to build a profile and how to build a personal brand on LinkedIn using that as an example, right? So just one sec. Cool. Okay. So I think this is Ashutosh who had shared his profile link. Um, yes. So I'll tell you guys a few things that, you know, need to be done, right? First, first of all, the image that you are using as your display picture, right? It has to be very clear, right? Like this display picture is not clear. You, and it has to be a formal image. You can't have an informal image that is going on as your display picture. This cover photo that is prevalent over here, this cover photo should basically talk about what you have done, where are you right now in life, or essentially talk about what you know, what you don't know, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Ashutosh, can you please go on mute? Thanks. Um, okay, what Ashutosh has done really well over here is basically talk about himself and give a brief introduction about himself. What Ashutosh could have done better is be more detailed about the different things that he's done, right? Over here, he's written internship training. He's written Java and Python fundamentals, but he has not mentioned what exactly has he built through that, right? And I will show you a profile of a guy who is basically a tech student. So his name is Yajas Sardana. Uh, he's from National Subhash Institute of Technology. He's currently doing B.Tech in IT. Okay. Now I'll tell you how his profile is a very good profile for students who are aspiring to get into tech. By the way, this guy is joining Microsoft as, as a software engineer. So if you look at his cover photo, right, it is very clear. He talks about tech. He talks about product. He talks about content. He's very clear in terms of mentioning that. He has an he has a display picture which is extremely clear. His face is very much visible. Uh, he's a LinkedIn top voice. He creates he's creating content about tech interviews, jobs, uh, and he's mentioned about other things that he's done. If I scroll down over here, see his his introduction, his bio is very short, right? He, he's written, I create content about tech, software development, product management, content creation, interviews. He's a full stack developer and a problem solving enthusiast from NSUT Delhi. He talks about his passion for software development with a diverse skill set ranging from the Mern stack to a stronghold on data structures and algorithm. He's an active member of his college's debating society and has represented India at the Harvard National Model United Nations. He writes about technical tutorials, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So he has given a lot of in-depth analysis as to who he is, what he is doing, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Now if we move over here, right, you see how, how, how detailed he has been about writing the different things that he's done, right? So he, when he was interning with Microsoft as a software engineer, he spoke of what he has done, right? So worked as a part of Microsoft's mission critical Cosmos big data team, enabled telemetry 
on top of apache hadoop yarn to reduce the dri's weekly efforts leveraged uh, oops principles to extend classes and integrate real time data collection and visualization and he's also mentioned about the different skills that he's used which is full stack development oop cloud computing big data java similarly for all the different internships that he's done he has written in terms of what what has he done right he's also spoken of the different things that he's done in college and his different grades across he's also spoken of the different volunteering experience he's had and the different courses that he's done online right and obviously he has had a lot of publications so he's mentioned about his publications over here if i click on the publications part it directly takes me there where he has made the publication he has also mentioned about the various projects he's done if i click on the projects it takes me to his github where all his different projects are mentioned and he's also mentioned about the different honors and awards that he that he has received right beyond that to build a personal brand for himself you will see that uh, yajas is very active on linkedin um last post was 5 hours ago before that was 2 days ago before that was 5 days ago before that was 2 weeks ago so he's fairly active on the platform where he talks about his different technical interviews different technical interview skills etc 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 so guys before moving forward i would again want to take a pause over here and would want to ask you that all that i have showed right now what doubts do you have do you guys have any doubts do you guys have any questions do you guys have any queries because see guys this is not a resume workshop wherein i just tell you things you guys just listen go home and it's done right personal branding how to crack interviews all of this is very dialogue driven what i mean by dialogue is till the time you guys don't ask questions till the time you guys don't ask queries it's no point because i will just be blabbering things you guys will just be listening to that and it's over so till the time you don't tell your doubts you tell whether or not i understood this or not it won't really work so i'm having a question yeah okay uh, introduce yourself sorry i i can't in, catch your name yeah i'm danush danush yeah danush please yeah uh, so uh, on our linkedin account what can we mention about ourselves um so danush so, uh, did you did you see yajas's account yeah yeah so danush that's what i said right like let me share his account again i'll i'll, I'll just again go through that entire thing um is it visible uh, dhanush yeah yeah it's visible so see there are a bunch of things that you can talk about right uh, so firstly you you can over here this is the headline section you can talk about different things that you've done right so maybe if you interned at some big company so you can write it like this um if you have won some coding competition you can write it over there right so these are a bunch of things that you can uh, mention in your headline moving down you can this is your in summary section okay over here you have to talk about your life all that you've done all that you have studied in a very summarized way so you over here you can see in four paragraphs or five paragraphs yajas has been able to explain different things that he's done in life and things that he's doing currently so consider this to be a very short uh, you know summary of sorts right for 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 you to display your skills this is also a section called featured section wherein whatever you know post that you've written like if some post gets a lot of virality you can add it to this featured profile part of your section so that when people come onto your profile they can look at this so if we just open this one post right so uh, the this he's made a snake game and he's posted about that on linkedin right and this is how a snake game looks like right so these are the different kinds of posts you can make uh, on linkedin 
moving down over here you have to talk about your experience like if you've done any internships if you've done any life projects right all of them come over here and in in this experience section you can talk about in depth in terms of what you've done how you've done etc 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 right now moving down over here is your educational section you can talk about your school you can talk about your college like yajas was very um, active in college in terms of he was the lead of the google uh, developer student club he was a delegate <coughs> at the harvard national man he was the general secretary of the astronomy and math society and he is an executive director of the debating society right so you can talk about different things that you've done in school or college you can talk about various volunteering and social service experiences that you might have over here you can talk about different certifications that you've gotten um various skill sets that you have if you have published any research paper any article the publications basically come down over here various projects right so we we tend to develop short short projects and if you see that over here he is put out in a very detailed fashion on the different projects that he's done right so let's just say this project tigment uh it's an investigation tool made to make cyber crime investigation more convenient sentiment and metadata analysis done to visualize data better and draw more concrete conclusions in depth web scraping done to achieve a plethora of information for every search and he is linked to the project right so you can add your projects over here as well. you can also add various awards that you might have gotten in college or otherwise so if you can see he has gotten so many different awards and he is mentioned all of those awards over here as well right um so yeah more or less uh, these are the different things that you can actually mention in your profile but i would again pause and ask dhanush if you have any questions on this yeah yeah i've got it thank you very much uh any questions dhanush sorry uh dhanush hello yeah am i audible yeah i'm saying any other questions yeah no 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 i'm not having any other questions thank you any uh, okay guys next anyone else any questions what kind of what kind of content uh we should be sharing on social media and also how to create content or from where we can get content to make a content for social media so gagandeep that's a very interesting question right now to answer this question of yours um it's very simple you have to select your niche what i mean by niche is you can only create content in one particular area now that could be finance that could be coding that could be marketing etc 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 right so you first have to decide what is my action area on which topic will i be creating content on once you have decided your action area you start researching around that right like what are the new trends in marketing that are there what are the new trends in finance that are there what are the i mean if marketing is your niche then you say what are the new marketing trends that are there has any company come up with a new brand campaign or a marketing campaign um any new digital marketing trends are there and then out of that you start creating content that's how it works wherein you are building we are building research first on that particular action area that you have and once you have generated research on that you start collect, uh, creating content around that um does that answer your question gagandeep singh okay uh, ananya how many languages is apt to know as a fresher um by languages uh, ananya do you mean programming languages so ananya there is no rule of thumb right there is no rule of thumb which tells you that you need to know 10 languages you need to know 15 languages etc etc you might be not knowing one language like you might be super proficient only with java but you know java so well that you can build anything and everything using that right so it all depends on the in depth that in depthness that is there right so if you know java really well 
you can get a lot of jobs you can get a lot of opportunities just by knowing java so it all depends on what is the in depthness that you have with a particular language right so i strongly strongly feel it's all about how in depth you are or how thorough you are with that particular language correct um, does that answer your question ananya and more importantly secondly what is also equally important is that you need to know why you are learning a language right so say if some if if you are interested in something like say web development then i would recommend you to learn something like uh, an html or a css because that will help you more with web dev but if you are someone who is more into software coding right i would recommend that hey it's better if you learn something like uh, a c or a c++ because that would help you more with your coding and software development exercise so it's important to know what you really want to do and basis that you you learn the language um does that make sense okay so ashutosh is asking a question how to get op uh, okay before going to the last part right again guys i am reiterating this question any any confusion in terms of how to build a personal brand what content to put out any questions any doubts any clarifications guys because see it is not possible for me to tell everything in one hour but from whatever i have told if you guys have questions if you guys have doubts please 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 get them clarified here because after that i don't know when we can talk again like this so if you have any doubts around this let me know right now any doubts guys anything any questions cool so now moving to the last part right uh, and the last part of this entire um session is about how to get opportunities right there are a lot of ways by which one can get opportunities and i'll just share my screen for the last bit so over here right there is this option called as jobs if i click on this jobs bit it uh, opens to different different jobs different different uh, opportunities that are available so one way of getting jobs through linkedin is by basically looking at this jobs tab you will see that a lot of these jobs are being put out you can say if this is something that interests you you can click on this you can directly apply from here and many a times what happens is they also show who the person is hiring right so over here it is shown as dig digvijay singh chauhan who is basically hiring for this role so you can probably go on to digvijay's profile you can message him that hey digvijay my name is xyz i am very interested in this particular role that you have posted uh i have so and so skills which makes me relevant for the particular job that you have posted uh please find attached my resume and my project portfolio that showcases that i know the skills that are required for this job right so that is another way or you can plain simple just apply from here as well right this is one way second way basically uh is something that i had done previously which i would want to show to you guys as well um one second danzo so ankur is basically the co-founder of danzo uh you can see ankur agarwal co-founder danzo and what uh, i had done was i had sent him a message and i'll enlarge this so i had sent him a message saying that hey ankur thanks for accepting my invitation i hope this e message finds you well sorry for randomly popping up in your message box i gave my introduction and i wanted to grab his attention right so i told him that i have been trying to connect with a lot of individuals from danzo i had some ideas about how the organization could improve its offerings and through and 
and through wanted to see if i could be a fit within the organization it would be great if i could speak to someone right so i just told them that hey you guys are doing things which can be done in a better way i have the solution of doing that in a better way uh can we speak right and he was he read my message and he also replied back with his email email id right so another way of approaching this entire job find or jo- job search process is that you basically um you know <coughs> excuse me you basically message people right so if you know that a particular company is hiring or say xyz is your dream company right for someone microsoft is their dream company right now you first start adding people on linkedin from microsoft you can add a lot of people from linkedin on microsoft oh, from microsoft on linkedin and then you once they have connected or once they have accepted your request you start messaging them saying that hey uh, these are the particular openings right like i'll just show it to you say if i just take danzo for example if i go to jobs so they have 28 openings right now and say i am interested in data in this role of data scientist right so i will see that acha they have an opening they are saying that they want someone who is proficient in python they want someone who is proficient in sql and they want someone who has proficiency in at least one of nlp optimization machine learning etc so now what i'll do is i'll basically look for people from danzo so say i have 11 people in my network who are at danzo so i will basically message one of them saying that hey uh, xyz i found that there is this opening uh, in danzo uh, under this this role these are the skill sets that are required for someone to apply to this role i think that i have the necessary skills that might be useful for me to get into danzo here is my cv here is my project portfolio please if you could uh, take this conversation forward right so if you apply if you send this message to say 10 people from danzo i am sure one of them will end up replying to you and you only need that one person to reply to you to take things forward right so i think this uh, is one way of also applying for jobs through linkedin uh, but yeah again i would take a pause here and ask if there are any doubts any questions any clarifications that you want because guys understand this is not a this is not just me teaching you things you you need to ask more questions to have your doubts cleared any questions guys sir okay um so ashutosh's question is sir how uh, i sir how i mentioned github project so uh, again ashutosh I'll, let me just see share my screen so if i open my profile if i go there so in the in the project section is where you can mention your project right so if i add over here you type your project name you type your start date you type your end date uh if you are associated with any particular form you write it over there and this project url section right this is where you add your github link and this is the description what i mean by description is over here you can talk about all the different things that you might have done in this project so this is how you can add your github profile or your github github project section on linkedin uh does that make sense ashutosh yes sir awesome okay guys um so guys last 10 minutes i had kept for q and a uh, if you guys have any questions if you guys have any doubts please this is your chance to ask those questions ask those doubts so whatever doubts questions that you guys might be having please let us let me know right now guys anything if build more networks how 
um so ashutosh that's a very good question right and uh, the way to increase and improve your network is to is like the way to do that is basically adding more relevant people on linkedin so say if you are someone into software development you should add more software engineers more software developers to your linkedin account and you know just reach out to them on linkedin saying that hey um you are doing some amazing work it was good connecting with you let's let's discuss more on projects right so to increase your network the best way is to a connect with more relevant people on linkedin and be putting out more content because putting out more content also builds credibility right um then we have a question from mohit sir for first year students no one is able to give internships what i have to do uh, so uh, mohit this is something that we had covered in yesterday's class itself but just to give you a very short answer um the way to get more internships is a you need to upskill yourself in terms of having more certifications knowing some languages knowing some technologies and on the at the same time you have, will have to build on some projects on your own right like you you do some projects you create some projects on your own and then you showcase that to the internship companies that hey i have done this hey i know this hey i have done this um if you could give me a chance so that is another way of basically portraying yourself and getting a chance to uh, get an internship opportunity uh, does that make sense sir i had worked since 2 years with my father okay okay so you can mention that as well uh, mohit that you know i have this experience and in these 2 years i helped my father doing xyz stuff right so that is also something that you can mention as a relevant experience yes sir maine linkedin ke profile pe har jagah apna jo bhi main karta hu kaam mujhe aata hai jo bhi mujhe aata hai maine sab kuch dal rakha hai lekin phir bhi jab bhi main kisi se baat hui kisi and pehle mujhe aise baat hui apne college ke tab bhi wo yahi kehte hain ki first year mein koi internship nahi hai to matlab ye kya ek rule ban gaya hai kya ki first year mein koi bachcha internship kar hi nahi sakta सो मोहित तो इसको सॉल्व करने के दो तीन तरीके हैं एक तो आप और सर्टिफिकेशन या कोर्सेज करिए ऑनलाइन जिससे आपका स्किल सेट बढ़ सकता है दूसरा है अगर इफ इट इज फाइन विथ यू आप बोल सकते हो कि सर आप मेरे को इंटर्नशिप में ले लो बट यू डोंट पे मी एनी थिंग यू डू इट जस्ट फॉर द लर्निंग राइट बिकॉज पीपल हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विथ पे अगर आप बोलते हो कि मैं सर फ्री में भी करने को तैयार हूँ मुझे सीखना है तो मेनी पीपल विल टेक यू थ्रू दैट एज वेल बट आइडियली द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एज अ फ्रेशर इज दैट आपको जितना ज्यादा रेलिवेंट एक्सपीरियंस मिल सकता है ना उतना बेटर है तो मैंने भी अपने कॉलेज के स्टार्ट में कुछ कुछ इंटर्नशिप करी थी फॉर फ्री आई वॉज नॉट पेड फॉर इट एट ऑल राइट बट इट वॉज फेयर फॉर मी मतलब मेरे को कोई दिक्कत नहीं थी कि हाँ फ्री में करना तो करना है मेरे को सीखना था तो वो भी आप कर सकते हो दैट आप बोल दो उनको कि हाँ मैं फ्री में करने को तैयार हूँ बट आई एम रेडी टू लर्न Make sense, Mohit? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else, guys? Guys, anyone else? Any other doubts? Any other queries? Cool. uh kashish i don't think there are other doubts i had kept the last uh 5 10 minutes for q and a um but i think we are done here um kashish are you there right 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 so if uh, guys if you have any questions then feel free to ask in the chat box we are still here for you know 2 minutes and uh, uh, firstly thank you so much mr samarth for taking this session and sharing amazing tips with the students i hope all of them find it uh, very helpful and today we are ending this two days workshop with mr samarth and team my ways uh, really appreciate your effort thank you